Sunday, July 7th, 1985, we're in Helen, Georgia, with the notorious Stamey Sisters. Uh, we've been up here all day. Helen is a small town about 75 miles north of Atlanta. Um, pretty far from everything, but it's not a typical North Georgia town, and then it has more of a Bavarian and German type atmosphere, which we'll be able to see uh, looking forward to tape. We spent uh, the better part of a day here. Here's what we did. How did you uh, come to find out about this place? Just we were trying to find a place to eat. We was checking out Charlotte's real finicky about everything she eats. Of course, this didn't really set too well with her. Uh -huh. We didn't eat here. And since a lot of places have their menus out front, we just come on here and was looking at everything. She, she wanted to eat shrimp, pork, or her meat has to look just right, you know, so we was looking at everything. Hmm. So you never did eat here? Yeah, we ate that one at the, when we came in, I said we sit by the oh. fireplace. Okay, but you didn't eat at this restaurant? No. I see. This is a restaurant where we decided not to eat. However, it looked interesting. This is not the restaurant with the two headed fish. How long does it take from start until it's ready to uh, be sold? Well, it takes about 10 minutes to make a candle, and then it takes about 10 or 15 minutes to dry. Okay. So it just takes too long. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll dry it off and then put it in the wax. And this is just cool water in between each layer over here, and that sets it so I can put it right back into the wax. Otherwise, they have to wait in between the layers for it to set, and the water just feeds the process up a little bit. Do you heat them up later again so that you can do the carving? No, I just have to work with it while it's warm. I only have about five or six minutes to carve it while it stays pliable. I have to work on it right after I finish sifting it here. I can see where it helps to know what you're doing. <laughs> and orange and purple and some of the other colors just mix them right on the candle. Just make a any color candle.
And like I said, I only have about five or six minutes is all to work on this while it does stay warm enough. So I am working against time. You can tell the layers are pliable the way they start to fold down, but it's going to cool off in just a few minutes, so we don't have too long to work on it. And right after I finish carving this one, I will give it two additional dips. Once in a clear wax, and then I get into a hard finish wax. And the hard finish wax is what makes all the candles real shiny. If you notice how shiny and glossy the other ones are on the outside, that's the hardener that we put on them. It makes them real shiny. It also protects them so these aren't going to melt in the sun or in the heat. It does make them real durable. Just fold those layers into the previous cuts like that. If you haven't seen one of these candles burning, that's really the best part about them is that you can light them and you don't really lose the carved part on the outside because the core that I start with is actually what's going to burn in the center. And once it does burn down in the middle, about three or four inches, which is where it gets hard to light, you can refill it. And the easiest way to do that is to take a votive or any small candle and drop it inside where it's burned and then continue to burn and use that. So can burn them and refill them and yet still have the carving on the outside. I'm not just going to get a candle to melt away and be gone. We'll make some cuts down from the top and roll those down like that. I use a loop tool for the next cut. Take a piece out and twist it around and make a spiral. back up there where it came from is how we get all the spirals and twists on the candles. And as long as it is warm, I can work on it. It'll pretty much stick to where I put it and do what I want it to do. But once it starts to cool down, it can harden and break off. That's why I've got to work on it right after I finish dipping it because there's really no way to go back and reheat it or to start over again. If you haven't seen how they burn, I'll light one up right after I'm finished here and show you how they burn in the center. They also shine through and glow, so wherever there's a cut in your candle, it lights up. Makes them really nice when you burn them. I'll cut the bottom off so we can sit down straight. down there just like that, and that's where the mushrooms come from. And I'll put a hole right down inside the center. I'm going to wick in it just like that and get a little candle out of the bottom part. And I'll take this one and cut around the wick at the top so it does have a place to start to burn down inside. Loop tool one more time, put some clips on the top of it. Pull them in just like that. Pull a design on the top. And I'll check all the cuts, make sure everything's in place, and then I'll give it the last two dips and let you see what it looks like finished. out about three or four inches, you can replace it, just take a note or a small candle, drop it inside there and continue to burn and heat that. The outside has the hardener on it, like I said, that one feels real durable. So what's nice is it lights up, wherever there's a cut in your candle, the colors on the inside are going to shine through there and glow. So it does make them really nice when you light them and yet practical. This is another view of the finished product. This 
is the candle that we bought, which is the one that you could see being dipped a little bit earlier. As you can probably tell by the general lighting, this is taken several days later back at the apartment. Hey, how did you first come to find this place? Just driving through? And, and how many times have you been here before? Huh. Um, what attracts you to it? Huh. Now you came here before or after you went to Germany? Before and after. Oh. But if you went here before you went to Germany, how can it remind you of Germany? The building. Oh, okay. The little souvenirs that they got imported from Germany. Oh. Okay. And Karen, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. What have you seen that you liked? Everything. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice cut and it's fun. Is my hair gone? I hope my hair is the best. <laughs> it is? Give me a call. Who's that funny looking guy that needs his hair cut? I don't know if that helped any. You know, one way. Sound, right? No sound? Well, a little bit. Unforgettable. Oh, yes, I am. Unforgettable. Always wanted to be on TV. Beautiful. What can I say? My hands are off it. 